He's our foremost white ball batsman, has been for years. Welcome you back onto the show, Marty. Sorry to play you that, mate. We're all gutted here. <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting me re- relive that, mate. Um, yeah. Really really good of you. But no, no it's obviously not an ideal night last night, but um, that's the way that, that cricket can go sometimes. Well, when you say that, I mean, the way that cricket can go, I mean, the big show pulls out a worldie with his left hand like that. You're starting to look as though you're in form. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. It's bad at the moment. Uh, you know, all my movements are really good. And, you know, unfortunately, we got on a, a pretty soft and slow um, wicket yesterday, which made it quite difficult to, um, you know, play, play um, some big shots on. And, um, you know, you had to really work hard, um, you know, as it showed through our innings um, for your runs. 179 for three, though, in the 42nd. Did you think that 250 was possible? Was that the target? Yeah, 100%. Um, I, I think it just shows you know, sort of what the power of partnership can do when you look at what um, Alex Carey and Cam Green did um, last night against us. Um, we, we had some really good, solid starting partnerships and we just couldn't kick on um, to get any of those big ones that, that really sets up an innings. But, uh, look, you know, we, we know what we need to do, um, you know, for tomorrow's, tomorrow's game to um, rectify, you know, what, what went wrong last night. Is it going to be played on the same actual pitch or are they moving it? That's a very good question. I'm not sure. Um, I'll to, we'll probably find that yeah. out tomorrow when we get down there. It did look a bit pudding, didn't it? Did it change at all dramatically during their innings? Uh, it got a little bit easy to bat on. A little bit of dew came down um, sort of later on at night and it started to get on a wee bit. But, um, you know, from the position that we, we had them in, you know, we, we thought we were in with a real chance. And um, you have to give credit to the way that Alex Carey and Cam Green batted, you know, from a, you know, what was it, 50, 40 for five or whatever it yeah. was, um, to taking through to... Pretty much the end, you know. They they batted extremely well and, and took it um, took yeah you know, soaked up a lot of pressure and took the game away from us. You know the bizarre thing, Marty Guptill is with us live from Kent. The bizarre thing about watching it from you know this side is that the way Bolty was bowling, it's hooping around all over the place. You're getting big movement and everything else. You take him off, or Kane takes him off. Twenty overs back, he comes back. The ball's doing absolutely nothing, and within that short space of time. Yeah, I mean. Um Kane and Trent spoke at the time, and it, and it was about um, you know because they they do bat deep, you know they had uh, Glenn Maxwell coming in next, so you know with the way that um, Matt Henry is bowling as well, you know it was, it was a very good opening uh, partnership with the ball for us last night. So you know we back every one of our bowlers to be able to step up and, and, and do the job, and um, it was the right time for uh, you know Kane to take Trent off and bring someone else on. Well, I've been harping on for the last couple of hours that it was exactly the wrong time. You got your foot on the throat. I mean, well, you know, why wouldn't you just go for the squeezer at that stage? I suppose you're putting all your eggs in that basket, but it just seemed that that was the only basket we had. Yeah, look, I mean, as I said, you know, it was a conversation that was had, and they deemed it the right time. But um, look, you know, it didn't come off last night. You know, it, it may come off another night. You just never know with this game of cricket that we play. It's, it's you know. It's one of those games, isn't it? it can, you know, you, you make one decision one way, uh, it can go, you know, perfectly for you. Um, but uh, look, it wasn't to be last night. And, you know, as I said, we back each and every one of our bowlers to come on and do the job for us. Marty Guptill is with us. The squawking birds I'm hearing in the background, is that Mitchell Stark, is it? <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> I've been doing a bit of recovery in, in the pool outside. And, sorry, uh, mate. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said. I shouldn't have put that right. to you. It's just that he was snipping at you like he always does. What was? What is he? What's he saying to you? You allowed to tell us? Oh no, he actually wasn't snipping at all. Like, he, uh, yesterday, it was just the one, the one that I reviewed, and he thought I'd come clean off my pad, and uh, you know, he just said to me, "Oh, that's LBW in mate." And I said, "Mate, no, he near my pad," and that was about it. Right. Okay. How, and had, is he is he still is he still as awkward to face because he you know again he you know he 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 can give a few away but every now and again he just bowls something that's unplayable. Oh, absolutely! It's um, you know, he's a world class bowler and he's shown that for for many years now and you know it's no wonder he's the quickest to um, two hundred ODI wickets uh, in history. So. It's, um, you know, he, he bowled very well yesterday, a couple of errand balls to start with, but then once he found his line length on that wicket, he was very, very difficult to get away. Um, you know, as I said, it was a, a tough wicket to play shots on and, and really, um, you know, try and force the ball away. Hazelwood, though, is just a, just consistency plus, isn't he? I can't remember a bad game he's bowled, mate, in the last 18 months. You know, he's, he's bowling very well at the moment and he has done done so for, for a long time for Australia. Um, you know, he's one of their mainstays in their white ball team oh. now. Um, he was probably more looked at as a as a red ball bowler um, when he first started, but you know his white ball skills have really come along a long way, and um, you know he's a staple in their in their lineup now. You know, Green, it's frustrating. We were arguing about this today as well, Marty. Marty Guptill is with us on the platform. Is that you know going down for an injury break for ten minutes? I mean, yeah, okay, 
I can understand he's cramping up and all of that kind of stuff, but that's as a result of him being out there, putting under pressure, all that physical stuff. Do you do you think you should you should have to get off the field, go off injured, yeah. do your break, get off injured, get somebody else out there? Because it was a hell of a long time. It was a long time, and so if he, if he does that, you know they've got number eleven coming in next. So he, I think he wanted to be out there and see it through. And um, you know, cramp sucks. I've had it before. I suffered from it two weeks ago in the West Indies. So it's uh, it's one of those things that you just you know some people cramp, some people don't. Unfortunately for for Cam Green, he, um, he you know he had it quite bad last night. I know this means a lot to this Chapel Headley, doesn't it? A hundred percent, mate. Love playing the Chapel Headley, and you know it'd be nice to get these next two games under the belt. We've ne- never won a uh, Chapel Headley over here in Australia. Closest we've got to a two all uh, series in 2009. So uh, it'd be nice to come away with the trophy. Yeah, look, you sound as though you're still full of confidence. Are there going to be any changes that have been talked about, or will that be, fin- will that be finalised tomorrow? I think they're going to finalise it tomorrow. We haven't uh, hasn't had too many communication around that at, at this stage. So uh, we'll wait and see for the morning and, and what they will make up of the team they want to go with. And finally, had you, have you ever been to Cairns before this? I came to Cairns 14 years ago for the New Zealand Emerging Players uh, team. Wow. Uh, we played against Queensland up here, so quite a while ago. Um, I think the only two surviving members of that team are me and Trent Bolt at this stage. Wow. So none of the Aussies? Uh, not sure. Now you played against? I can't remember. Um, emerging uh, players, Marty. Wow. You were an emerging player once. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, once upon a time. He's trying to say I'm old, mate. <laughs> no, it's just, that's a long time. I keep forgetting how long you've been playing for us, yeah. mate. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's been a while, mate. Yeah, yeah it has. A few games under the belt. And, 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 and what, finally, just, I mean, it's a random kind of question, but it just looked like a really lovely ground. We were talking to a guy there yesterday um, who, who who works at the ground, and it's an AFL ground. He was just such a, a guy called James Ingram. He's such a great guy to talk to. Spectators looked as though they loved it and everything else. It'd be quite rare for them to have it. Well, very unusual usual for them to have a game like this up there. Oh, 100%. I don't think they've had one for a while here. And um, it's just a little bit unfortunate that that's been undercover for you know the last couple of weeks. I've had a lot of rain up here. Um, you know, we landed last week. It was, uh, you know, fair coming down. So yeah, it's been a little bit under, under prep maybe for the wicket. But um, look, it's just one of those things. You, you can't control the weather. So um, we just have to adapt and deal with what we're, um, you know, faced with once we get out there. When do you do the Facebook time with the kids, mate? Say that again, sorry? When do you do the Facebook thing with the kids, the FaceTime with the kids? Oh, no, no the family's over here with me. Oh, so, are they? Um, oh, brilliant. Know, they've been, yeah, yeah. So it's nice to have a bit of support around and, uh, you know, get away from cricket when you're not, um, you know, when, when you're away from the game. So you get you finish off you finish off the court, you get off the shower, you get straight out of the dressing room, you get handed two babies. Is that how it works? Well, they were both asleep last night when we got back, which was nice. But, uh, no, it's, it's nice to actually have them, you know, it's a, it's a distraction. Um, you know, and a good one day, and day in and day out of cricket. Yeah, oh, 100%, mate. Yeah. So, um, you know, they don't care if dad's had a good or bad day. It's, um, you know, they come home, they just want to see you. So it's it's, um, it's really nice. All right. Say hi to Laura, mate. Thanks so much for your time as always, dude. <laughs> Cheers, Marty. Thanks, yeah, mate. mate. Okay, Marty Capital with us.